Watson for your research and we are to tackle in this video another interesting topic about chapter 1 introduction to the study specifically about the scope and limitations of your study so um, try to finish watching the video so that you will be guided more and you will catch up with how uh, scope and limitations of the study is being done in your research paper. So in this video, we will try to answer question, what is a scope when it comes to research? What's the scope of your research? What about the limitation of your research? So we have here first the definition of scope. So when we say term scope, refers to the area of focus of your study. So meaning what, what your study is all about. Okay? What is the focus of your study? So it's the, that's the scope. And usually when we say scope, that would mean the parameter or the coverage of your study. So what will be the coverage of your study? Will it be about, only about, for instance, ICT? Will it be about business or um, education? If it's about education, then... What area of education? What's, what's the cover? What's the coverage? What's the parameter? So that's the scope. On the other hand, when we say limitation, uh, it describes the restrictions or conditions not covered or focused or included in your study. So meaning to say, if you have already identified the coverage of your study, what are the things that are not included? Now, Usually, when you write the scope and limitations of your study, you are to include the following. One, we have the purpose or the aim of your research. So you need to put that. Usually in the first paragraph, you also have to include the duration. How many weeks, uh, the month, or the year. How many months will it take to conduct your, your paper. And then number three, location. Where is the location of your study? So that would mean... Uh, it explains here or it presents here where your study will take place or takes place and uh, also who are the respondents in your study and what are the variables included in your study so apart from that you will also include the data gathering instrument or your research instrument that you are going to use in your study a little details about the research instrument and lastly you are statistical tools so if this six um, things I mentioned is included in your study so many to say your scope and limitations are very complete okay so I will give you an example of a scope and limitations of the study so we have here uh, first uh, first paragraph so this study aims to find out the readiness of grade 12 students on home-based homework immersion. So this now speaks of the purpose or the aim of your study. So we have here first paragraph or first part of your scope and limitation, the purpose or aim of your study. And then next, we continue, the study will be conducted at Mabuhay National High School during the school year 2020-2021. So you are now uh, presenting here the location of your of your study, which is Mabuhay National High School. And you can also specify the exact address for here. And also, you specified here the, the school year that will be that will be focused in your study. Okay? So that's the first paragraph. And then in the second paragraph, we have here. The study was conducted on March 2021 to May 2021 with a duration of 12 weeks. So in this second paragraph, you are now presenting the duration of your research. And that's good. And also, the study used 100 randomly selected grade 12 students who are having their home-based work immersion. So your 100 randomly selected grade 12 students here are already your respondents. So respondents are already included here and also uh, here um, it was mentioned that there is a random selection which is um, 
uh, what is that? A sampling technique which you will learn later in the in the future videos that will, that I will be posting. And um, apart from that, we have here a limitation. Grade 12 STEM students are not included in the study since they do not have home-based work immersion. So it's good that in this study, uh, it was mentioned uh, here that uh, there is a limitation. So meaning to say, only the TBL students will be included and not the grade 12 STEM students because they don't have the home-based work immersion. They have capstone project instead. And then next... So, the respondents' personal related factors such as specialization and average grade were used as variables in the study. So, we have here now, so in the third paragraph, you are now mentioning the variables used in your study, which is, I think, you identified in your uh, conceptual framework, okay, in your research paradigm, so you have there. In addition, this study used a 20-item Researcher made questionnaire as data gathering tool. So we have your research instrument. It is a, a questionnaire and it is 20 items. And the statistical tools that will be used are the frequency, percentage, mean, t test, and one way analysis of variance or one way NOVA. So we have here now the statistical tools. And the alpha level of significance was set to 0 0.05. And data were processed using the SPSS or so Statistical Package for Social Sciences Software version 21.0. So, so in this paragraph, uh, it was mentioned here the, the respondents, variables, the research instrument, and then the statistical tools. And we have here the, the, the last paragraph that will be included in your scope and limitations will be it should therefore be noted that the interpretation of the data in this study will be taken within the context of the aforementioned limitations so meaning to say in this part of your scope and limitation it simply tells the readers that uh, the things mentioned in the scope and limitations of the study will only be the coverage or the focus of the study and the things not mentioned here will not be will not be included in the study. That's why you have there the, the limitation set as well as the, the scope being mentioned. So, so oftentimes, uh, your scope and limitations will only have, I think, uh, four to six paragraphs or four to five paragraphs, and that's good. As long as it, it has the, the, the following components. So your, your scope and limitations have First, the purpose, the duration, the location, who are the respondents, and then the variables, the research instrument, and then the statistical tools that will be included in your study. And also, do not forget to, to, to put also uh, what, if your study is quantitative, what uh, data processing tool will be used. Will it be manual or will it be... Uh, the SPSS, the use of computers. Okay, so so you have the option, and it's okay. And of course, uh, do not forget to to make sure that you have the last paragraph stating that it is important to note that um, the things mentioned in your scope and limitations will only be considered in this study, and other things will not be interpreted. So that's all.